more. So in episodes one to three, we've seen Mary Crosby, we've seen uh, Whitney, we've seen Heather, um, we've seen Heather and Jen Shaw make up, we've seen um, um, Meredith and Lisa talk about the fact that Lisa has gotten super close to Jen Shaw since our last reunion and doesn't seem to care how Meredith feels about it, even though Meredith is, you know, feeling emotional right now about what um, Jen Shaw has done to her in forms of she feels like she is projecting, you know, her negative emotions onto her son and that she's like trying to like out him on social media and things like that. So we do want to talk about um, that and bring that tea to you. So not only that, we've also been dealing with, you know, Lisa's um, shading heavy shading of Heather and Whitney acting like they don't exist or that they're nobodies and, you know, things like that. Um, also, <clears throat> we've seen Jen Shaw try to make up with uh, Meredith and uh, this last episode was really good. This was the best episode for me so far, season uh, two, uh, episode four, where we have Jen Shaw and Meredith talk it out. They finally talk it out about, you know, the things that Jen Shah is doing. Jen Shah does not take um, ownership, accountability, or responsibility for anything that she does, allegedly. And so it's always going to be a losing situation in trying to get her to take um, responsibility for her actions in order to move forward with her, as far as I can see. Um, in addition to that, we have the introduction of Angie, who is... Um, uh, Lisa's friend, Lisa Barlow's friend, and um, they've been friends for over 20 years because all of her friends, they've been friends for over 20 years, and they are like besties, and they're like so perfect, and they come together so good. Um, Angie recently found out that she's related to Whitney by their great-great-great-grandfather that they share in common because, you know, this is Utah, and we're talking about Mormons, and we're talking about um, when, um, the poly poly polygamy, and we're talking about, you know, all the things that occur, sister wives, all types of things. That, you know, the one great-great-grandfather is probably a great-great-grandfather for about a two, good 200 people in that town. So we can go do the genealogy and we'll probably find that out. So that's how they're related. So Lisa Barlow feels as if, you know, that relation is not really any great relation that either um, Whitney or Angie should be like, you know, trying to bring forward or be proud of so she did tell um whitney not to claim her girl child when um whitney came into the scene and uh first of all when angie met with lisa and told lisa they she did invite whitney to her um event and you know that they're family members and they're related and so you know they're moving forward jen was not pleased Jen had offered to have her caterers work for um, Angie at her event, which was for the LGBTQ community and her child that is transgender and, you know, putting into that cause. And no, they were not happy about it. And so um, <clears throat> Lisa being unhappy about Angie, you know, friendship with Whitney and moving forward with Whitney, um, there was a phone call to Angie that said, you know, we cannot move forward with the event, catering the event from the company because of Lisa Barlow's assistant calling in to say something or whatever. And so that has caused a great big controversy um, in regards to Lisa Barlow and her sabotaging ways that are starting to become obvious on the show. Um, I think it's sabotaging because I don't understand why Lisa and Meredith came in like they were the twins, the Bobsy twins, Frank and, Hart, Frank and Joe Hardy, whatever you want to call them. Nancy Drew and her sister, um, Belle Bib DeVoe, I don't know. They came in hard and heavy. And for Jen Shaw to be directing these types of like negative slurs towards, you know, uh, Meredith's child and Lisa Barlow not taking a stance for her just because, you know, there was a discussion that they said that they were afraid of her. So instead of saying, yes, I did say I was afraid of you and your attitude and your actions and what you may be capable of, I'm just going to act like I'm your best friend. That's Lisa Barlow's stance, okay? That's what's happening, all right? So, all right. Um, um, Heather and Jen Shaw trying to fix the relationship. Heather is a super nice person. I do think that she's very generous and kind, and I do believe that she is a great person. I love how she comes out with, like, how the Mormonism um, community is so tight and how she is feeling so 
put out based upon you know her divorce and everything and the kids and all of these things and i just want the kids to move forward into their own lives like not be guided by like the religion of their parents um and have that be something that holds them back i want them to go out into the world go to college and go somewhere else and, and learn other places learn other things and be happy and that's what she wants for her kids so i love heather i love her energy i love everything about heather yes um also Whitney Whitney this year seems to this season seems to have done a, a little bit of work she came out like looking a little older in the profile picture I don't like it I love her young look her youth I know that maybe she's done some things I'm gonna do some things don't worry we're gonna fix it we're gonna fix it we're gonna fix it <laughs> honesty for me i'm not even gonna lie like i did my makeup myself do that laugh do that laugh do that laugh do that laugh i'm not a makeup person i'm not a tutorial tutorial person so even in doing my youtube videos like to watch a tutorial on like doing a youtube video creation creating content editing da, 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 oh my god i need somebody that's gonna help me with that but i just started out and i can't afford. okay so so we had whitney we had jen shaw we had heather um, I'm looking forward to the great things that they'll be bringing. Okay, so Mary Crosby. Mary Crosby, uh, 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 you know, she, uh, Mary, I like. I do like Mary. I, I'm not going to lie. You know what I like? I like Mary because she gives those funny sounds. But Mary's whole backstory, as I was saying in part one, is funny. And I'm doing a little research. And I did see where they said that Mary actually, um, they're going to bring out tea on Mary. We're going to see the tea come out. But the parts that I want to understand is, was there is this a murder mystery like what's really happening like i like it when it's like that yeah is that a murder mystery what's happening did something occur like what what what's going on and then they said that she disappeared like from the church for like three years and that you know her husband allegedly was like calling to the church saying you know um give donations and stuff and you know because she has an illness like what her grandmother had that has some kind of you know skin problems and you know she needs to do surgeries and stuff and you know take up contributions and stuff like that and donations for her and you know this is online this is allegedly what i'm reading and it's like oh okay so what and then she comes back and they said she's a different color like she like for me personally mary crosby do not look like does not look like the person in the picture before and after i have only seen really one picture of mary crosby before she she's who she is today and based upon what the church is saying so we need more like i'm just gonna need more i need um baby pictures i, I need something um so yeah um i do like mary i like her atlas i want to see more of her i want to see more um interaction because even last season when she went to the one party she doesn't look like she knew anybody there. She was just walking around. You know, she's has in the fashions, but I need her to not just wear everything all at once. I need her fashion to tone down so I could see, like, you know, each piece. Like, don't put all the pieces together or, like, don't wear it how they wear it on the runway. Like, put your own little, you know, like, spiel on it and make it you. Like, make the designer your fashions. Like, like that. Like, don't wear the designer the way the designer puts it like do something you know put, put it together that's what we call it put it together put it together different so you have a whole lot of stuff just let's see it differently and then for me personally i don't get enough camera time of mary cosby and andy cohen i don't get enough camera time of mary Cos cosby's um outfits like what she's wearing like seeing her whole body i don't get that i don't understand what if she's designer 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 let's see the designer like we got to show her from head to toe, like shots, shots, shots. We don't get enough of it, but let's see it. Um, <clears throat> I'm excited to see what tea they're going to bring out about her this year, this season. I'm excited to see, you know, what's going to develop with her son because he just looks like he's like, yes, mommy, just, you know, anything. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, she's saying that she's sending him off to, you know, the army. I, I don't know if he's going to go to the army because how you just going to say he's going to go to the army if he ain't got no interest for the army. I don't know. But I'm excited to see that they made up. So maybe we'll see more scenes with everybody versus just the one scene with uh, Meredith and Mary or the one scene with um, 
Mary and Whitney because that's all I've really been seeing. Like nobody else wants to film with her. I guess Lisa Barlow thinks she's better than Mary Crosby. I don't know. I, I don't. I, I, I don't know. You tell me what you think. Let me know down below if you think they they were snubbing Mary Crosby last season because they don't really know her like that, and they were just put on the show together, or do you think they? For some reason, Lisa Barlow may think she's better than Mary Crosby while we haven't seen her, like, literally film with Mary Crosby like that. Or do you think she's mad because the thing came out where they all said that they were afraid of Jen Shaw? Like, what do you think is happening? Let me know. All right. So we've done... That's it. The, the new lady, Jen, she's... um. She's, yeah, she is interested in it, but I mean, she doesn't really have anything to show us like that. It's just the kid. And I mean, really and truly, um, that's um, Gabby, the Gabby Petito. Okay, so I don't know if you've seen in the news, Gabby Petito. I know you have seen in the news. I know you have seen everywhere. So I talked about Gabby on my last video, and I said that I would give an update about Gabby Petito on my next video. So this is it. It has been a literal circus event. It has been something like out of Soul Circus that you could come with your popcorn, you can have a seat, and you can literally watch everything that's going on with the Gabby Petito conundrum. All right, so first things first. We have um, Gabby went missing. Gabby was out there in Wyoming. Gabby is a YouTuber traveling, trying to start a travel blog that gave up her job to travel across the world, cross country from Florida with her ex-fiance um, to start a travel blog and um, aspire to, you know, be greater in this YouTube world. And her and her ex-fiance went out there and they were traveling for about two, three months and they had some run-in with the police because the police were called because somebody saw him slapping her and um, the police came and the first um body cam that they uh released was the police asking her did she hit him or you know what how did it go and she admitted hitting him and she was crying hysterically and very upset and emotional and you could tell like she was very scared that you know he was gonna hurt her because you know this thing that occurred so she said okay no I'm not gonna do it like that and she didn't tell them what was going on on that body cam maybe like three four weeks later there's another body cam that has come out which is showing her as um you know telling the police that yes he did hit her and things like that so it's just a bunch of questions okay they were had to run in with the police the next thing we know, her parents can't find her. So they're calling everywhere for her. They're calling, you know, his parents' house to let them know that they haven't heard from Gabby. So did you hear from, you know, the fiance, the ex fiance Brian, um, Brian Laundry? So allegedly, the parents were not answering. So Gabby's parents put in a um, missing person report for Gabby and Brian Laundry. So they went to the police, they called. So the police were called like 46 times to um, Brian Laundrie's parents' house um, before, and with the media found out that there was a problem or an issue. So then once the police were called out there and they responded to Gabby's, um, they went out to Gab, uh, Brian's parents' house to let them know that Gabby and Brian were missing. And the police said that the parents let them know that Brian had returned home. Brian returned home with Gabby's van without Gabby. So Gabby was missing, but Brian was not missing. Okay, so that was a that that was we okay, so we said, okay. Um, so you know what's happening. So it was about maybe two weeks that the police was to, you know searching for Gabby that Brian was not responding to, you know, questions that were being asked. And the timeline is just crazy. So, within that time, Brian apparently returned home, went to his parents. They drove to his sister's house to visit with his sister. They also went to some park in 
um, part, part of Soda, Florida, to have a little family, you know, park, you know, camping, you know, top event. So, okay, that was all confusing. And then also Brian's sister came out and she said, you know, initially in the investigation and she said, well, I haven't been able to talk to Brian, so I don't know what's going on. And I wish I could talk to him because we don't know what's going on. Cha, all of a sudden, I looked around and they said, um, Brian could no longer be found. So now his, Brian's parents reported him missing. Okay. From their house. Um, he went to the camp and he dropped his car there and he didn't come back. So they drove his car back home and it's been all of these inconsistencies and the police were searching the swamp where he went saying that he went to camp in the swamp and they searched the swamp for like a good two weeks and then dog the bunny hunter came in and he said oh no we have um clear information that he's in port so he went to port the of florida to camp after on certain days right before she was missing or in between i don't know because she died before any of this so dog says he's gonna go search over in port the florida and then you had john walsh from um the missing persons um show he came out too and he also talked about you know, Gabby Petito, he's a part of the investigation trying to see what they can do to help or whatever. Next thing you know, Dog is coming with all of these updates like, oh yeah, um, we have him, you know, almost in custody and we'll be upon him in hours. And then he came and he said, you know, anybody that have news and they're saying that the boy, the Brian Laundry is over there driving his grandfather's car in North Carolina and he's in the Appalachian Mountains. He's in Wyoming. He, he, he's here and there are like a hundred different sightings of a hundred different things. And I'm just like, okay, allegedly, I'm just wondering, like, it's just me. Is it just me? Or did something occur out there and he may have, I, I don't understand. Like for me personally, when I look at it, I'm just like, well, at that point where the police had her and they dropped him to the hotel and had him stay the night and gave her her keys they said and told her to have a good night in the van anything could have happened to her anything could have happened to her i we i don't know the timeline is something that we need to understand because in the middle of all of that he had returned to florida by plane to take her stuff out of storage or something like they it's just too much stuff going on with Gabby Petito. It's like a reality show. It's not really giving me, like, just, like, I don't know. I'm just wondering, like, did the police go back and do something to her? Is this why this is happening? It's like a manhunt for him, but it's not really a manhunt. And nobody's really, like, doing, like, the investigative work. Because after Dog came and said that he was out there in um, Fort Port de Soto, Florida, they left and they the police said oh no you know don't mess up the investigation you know we're over here and then the feds and then they went over there to port of soda florida and they're searching there now and they're searching and they're searching and they're searching but this man can't be found and everybody the news team and everything and they're saying oh well you know we don't think he's left the country he has he is a man that has lived in the appalachian mountains for like three weeks at a time like weeks out there by himself like he knows how to survive he has survivalist skills and all this is he a is he a, a three-letter person cia is he you know, I'm a conspiracy theorist. I just got to tell it like it is. Is he somebody that has done... I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. This is just too much. It's like, okay, is it Gabby or is it Brian? Like, they found Gabby's body. G Gabby's gone. And, you know, we're having the memorial and we've done all of that. So now it's not even about finding Gabby. They haven't told us how she passed away. And I think they're not doing that because when they finally get him, they're just going to be like, you know, what did you do? And if he's like, oh, yeah, I bashed her head in or whatever, and she was shot by gun, then they will know. Like, it's just a, a lot. And the police, like, were not seeming like they were trying to help to find him. Like, it just seemed like they were searching the swamp. I know you could go there with, like, the infrared lights and you could see this and you could see that. But it's just the time that they're taking that they never went, like, I've never seen a case where somebody's missing and it's two people that were somewhere across country and one came back without with the other in that person's vehicle and they just can't, i don't feel like speaking and they just not speak and you just don't do anything about them and then you, and then you have a 
the um the policeman from Northport, Florida, where the parents are from, Brian Laundrie's parents, Northport, Florida, they're like, oh yeah, we didn't do anything because he wasn't um you know suspected of a crime or anything. Okay, but if she's missing and she has not been found, and he took her vehicle, like where is she though? You know what I mean? So now it was a whole thing because Brian Laundrie's sister Cassie had came out and said they she couldn't find brian either and she hadn't talked to brian and she wished she could talk to brian but then they realized they within the past the last week they cassie went camping with them in port de soto florida so they're like okay wait a minute i, I think that's the name of the place port de soto don't don't quote me um i'm just like wait a minute port de soto florida you were camping there okay so the timeline says that they had reservations from the first to like the second or the third and the mother called around august 31st or so to cancel that reservation and make a reservation for the sixth to the eighth i don't know what happened between the first to the sixth um they must have reported her missing around the first the mother the gabby's mother so the timeline is so weird for somebody to be missing for you to have lost your girlfriend across the country and not know where she is but have taken her vehicle and come back home and you're camping and you're doing this like we don't it's just it's not, it's just not coming together for me so we're definitely taking a look at that story now his sister has come out and apparently we found out that she was camping so there's a whole host of people that have gone to her house and they're outside now and they're screaming with bullhorns and everything like um you know come outside let us know what's going on your brother's hiding in there like we know you have something to do with it and so on and so forth she's tired of that she says her kids are crying the last i checked she spoke with the news yesterday or today i believe it was yesterday um about her brother again because what happened is after she said that she hadn't seen him or talked to him and then the world found out that she was camping with him after he came back the lawyer for the parents came out and said, oh, this is what happened and this is what happened. And if it didn't happen like that, if y'all were not told it happened like that and Cassie's misunderstood the statement or the whatever. So they're like, oh, she doesn't know what she's talking about, period. So now she's left looking like, what? So she has now come out and talked to the people on the front of her lawn and let them know she don't know nothing. She's not involved her and her husband or, or whoever he is to her. And they are you know not a part of this and they don't know anything and they didn't know this and they didn't know that and she went to the news and she has let them know that she didn't know now her parents are not speaking with her so it's very it's all very confusing and it's it's something that's making you wonder like what really happened what happened to gabby when will we know how gabby was um taken out of this world you know things like that so those are the questions that um, we're asking about Gabby Petito. Let me know down below what you think, like based upon all the things that you've seen and heard and based upon my uh, commentary of the Gabby Petito slash um, Brian Laundrie um, case, what do you think is really going on? Do you think that Gabby is, um, do, do you think that he did something to her or do you think that maybe somebody else did something to her and he's scared so he's running for his life? Maybe somebody that he's afraid of. Um, maybe do, do you think that something else was occurring out there where they were that the other thing is that they were quite like maybe a couple, a couple there were another there was a couple that was found like um, they had been um, murdered um, close to where they were staying and the one of the couple it's two women